Hey guys, welcome to a new episode with Conflicts. Today we have a new product from Robotis. This here is their Olobot series, Play 700. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right, so the box itself shows that it is a four-in-one kit, meaning you can build four different robots from this one box. In addition, it does work via Bluetooth, and it comes with an app that allows you to control, play, and program it as well. Now, these also have a built-in infrared sensor as well as sound sensors, and it comes with manuals on how to construct each of the different robots. So let's go ahead and look at the back. Now the back shows in detail the four different robots you can build. So the Scorpion is a remote control, line tracing, and it's a sound sensitivity with clapping your hands robot. And the car itself is a remote control. The dog follows line tracing, remote control, and it's an avoider. In addition, the windmill, if you blow air into it, you will actually see what might happen. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So in addition, if we look on the sides, it shows the different apps that you can use to go ahead and build your robot as well as program it. Now on the bottom here, this here shows exactly what are the contents. So there's actually a various a variety of different parts here. So that's nice to see. Uh, other than that, the box itself is pretty simple. Uh, it's not that big and it's the size of a lunchbox. So let's go to open this up and take a closer look. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. There is a seal on the top, so we're going to cut that open, and then this will actually just slide on out. Alright, so let's go ahead and open that up. So this right here is a Robotis Kids Lab Play With Creativity. It looks like it's just a kind of figure on how to download the app and how to use it. And over here we have the instruction manual, so let's go ahead and take that out. Uh, very detailed graphics on how to build them together. Uh, very simple steps and really cool to look at. So we'll look at that in a little bit. Uh, right here we have, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so this here is actually a track. So some of these robots actually follow a line. So this is uh, probably used for that. So we'll go ahead and set that to the side for now. And right here we have all the parts to look at, so not sure what all these are, but we'll go ahead and uh, put that to the side for now. It's not that much, but yeah, there's actually a lot of different variety of parts here. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and look at what else is in here. Ah, oh, wow, look at that. So we have a lot more parts in here too. So literally there's so many different parts in here, and they're all variety and different textures. That's the tire. And then over here we have a bunch of gears, and then this is the mechanism of itself. And these are the small little nuts and screws that we're looking at. So a lot of fun, a lot of a lot of different things. Looks like a chip. So I'm really excited to see how this works out. So let's go ahead and build our first robot. So now that we have our Scorpion finally made, we can actually go ahead and do a quick test run on it. Now, the app itself is very simple. It's got four different characters on there. So we'll just go ahead and turn him on. He makes a little beep saying that he's ready. And then we just go ahead and click on the Scorpion here. And it's currently connecting to it via Bluetooth. And it's now connected. <laughs> and over here, uh, the menu itself is really simple. It's got directions, it's got different features where it says sound, line tracer, as well as remote. So we'll go ahead and try out the remote feature. I'm going to hit up. <laughs> hit back. Hit left. <laughs> and then uh, that's pretty much it in terms of the remote. Now let's try sound. So apparently this actually has a uh, audio recognition. So if I go ahead and hit the sound button here and make a clap, and it walks. So let's try that again. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that it has that audio effect to it. All you do is simply just, and there it goes. So let's go ahead and try out the line tracer. Okay, so this is the sheet of paper that it came with. And now for the line sensor, there is actually a sensor on the bottom over here. So I'll just go ahead and place him on here. And he should follow it theoretically. So I'll go ahead and hit the line tracer button. And 
and he's following it. So that's a pretty cool feature that it's able to do that. We'll go ahead and stop that. And there we go. So pretty interesting features with this little guy, um, although he's quite big, which is really cool that it comes with it. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try building our next robot. Okay, so now that we have the dog ready here, we can go ahead and activate the app. First we'll turn on the dog on the bottom here, and then we'll go ahead and connect the phone to it. And it is now connected. Alright. So we have a few different features. Uh, same thing with the remote. There's a line tracer as well as a line avoider. So let's see how this works. So let's do the remote first. Oh, <laughs> it's actually pretty quick. All right, so let's go ahead and try out the line tracer and the line avoider button. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on here first and click line tracer. All right, so then I'll just go ahead and hit the button line tracer and he'll just go ahead and follow that line the same way the scorpion did. And in addition, the dog also has a line avoider button, so if I press the button line avoid and I put him on a line, he'll actually drive away from it until he stops. <laughs> so that's just something interesting. So let's go ahead and try the next robot and build a windmill. All right, so now that we have the windmill finally made, we can actually go ahead and try out the feature of being able to blow into the phone, causing the windmill to spin. So let's go ahead and try that out. That is so cool. <laughs> well, um, that works pretty interesting. So it's actually using the sensor in your microphone, uh, causing it to spin. Um, really interesting here. Uh, definitely cool. So just a unique feature of the windmill itself. So let's go ahead and build the car now and see how that works out. All right, so we have the F1 car finally ready to go. Uh, this here is the fourth model that you can build. Obviously, you can build your own custom models and create your own custom animations, which is cool. But uh, let's go ahead and give this a go. Now, the app itself for the car is simply a up, down, left, right arrow. Uh, other than that, it's nothing else. They don't have any line tracing with this, but I'm sure you can program that if you really wanted to. So let's go ahead and try that out. It's interesting how the steering is in the rear tires. Literally, it looks like one is spinning counterclockwise while the other one's spinning clockwise. Uh, that's interesting. But um, yeah, so you know, it's really cool that you can actually build various different models from the kit itself. Uh, if you guys had any questions or if you had any uh, wanted to see anything else about this, please comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them as much as possible. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.